nothing that happens on this earth anymore stays in the place where it happens. And it's especially true when it affects the water and the air. It has its impact that can't be stopped once it's released. Resilience is what we've been taught as naturalists to work for in our preservation efforts. But making these holes and expecting them to be held together and hold together with these, these waters that are, uh, the tailings that are, are dangerous and expecting the unknown future of climate change to, to uh, stay away from or, or not impact. Uh, it, it's, it's not believable. The public needs more information about the potential value of the tailings releases, the chemical composition of the tailings release, and the flow of the tailings release to the Menominee River and to the wetlands, and 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 to the to where water goes, where it decides to go. There's an old old prayer. I'm a pastor. And, and I see a lot of suicide today, and I see a lot of hopelessness. And I see a lot of trauma and a lot of PTSD. Some of it from chemicals that we were all assured would be fine and not affect our veterans in Vietnam and Asian Orange and so forth. I see that in my own family and the impact that they have. People still, my brother in law, still screaming at night. My prayer is that ancient one, that all beings have, the clean, have clean water to drink, and that they all know their purpose. And the purpose of that sulfide drop, that is as strong as it is, and yes, it contains little flecks of things that sometimes some humans want. But the purpose of that rock is not to be emulsified and float in the air or pollute our weapons so that the weapons no longer can fulfill their purpose. The purpose of that rock is to stand there, undisturbed. Thank you.